Well, the rise in synthetic opioids is leading to more overdoses and deaths on the Sun Coast. SNN Samantha Sonner joins us live in the newsroom now with more. Good evening, Samantha. Good evening, Nicole. Fentanyl and carfentanyl are stronger and more dangerous than other opioids, but they follow the same path to the Sun Coast. Synthetic opioids like fentanyl were developed for people suffering from things like stage 4 cancers and significant pain. Now dealers are selling it on the streets. Morphine is the kind of the, the barrier as far as uh, what pain management is measured on. And so fentanyl is about 100 times more potent than morphine. And then we also see have carfentanil on, on scene as well, which is 10,000 times more potent than morphine. Manatee County Sheriff's Office Special Investigation Division Captain Todd Shear says these dangerous drugs are coming into the country illegally. We believe it's being made uh, overseas in China. Uh, being imported through our not only our southern borders but also our northern borders in Canada. Um, we also believe it's being man-made, obviously in labs in Mexico. The drugs then follow traditional supply routes. Sometimes it's being intermixed into the heroin supply and sometimes it's just being transported over straight fentanyl. Shear says it's now the leading cause of overdose death on the Sun Coast. Fentanyl is being sold to addicts as heroin and pain medication, leading to more deaths. You have folks suffering from the disease of addiction thinking they're going to get a hit of heroin. In fact, it's not heroin. It's a, a mixture of potentially heroin and fentanyl. A lot of times 100% fentanyl and sometimes 100% carfentanyl. So someone who thinks that they can handle this particular dose, in fact, can't handle that dose. When they arrest dealers, they use all their resources to determine where the supply is coming from. But those routes change frequently. They're utilizing the same mechanisms that they have for decades. And um, your guess is as good as mine through paint, through airlines, through U.S. mail, through their regular trafficking mechanisms that are already in place as well. Shear says the sheriff's office and other law enforcement agencies can help those struggling with addiction find help before they are mistakenly exposed to fentanyl. And the Manatee County Sheriff's Office also works with getting trafficking information they get to federal agencies who can help trace the supply back to the source. Now, Samantha, what's the advantage for a dealer selling fentanyl instead of something like heroin? Well, one of the things that I talked to Captain Shear about was that because fentanyl and car fentanyl can be made in a lab, they don't have to wait until a growing season for plants to produce the drugs like they do with heroin. Now, these drugs can be made all year. Thanks, Samantha, for that report. And tomorrow we take a look at HIV and hepatitis C transmission and how it may be on the rise because of needle sharing and other dangerous behaviors.